So hello, welcome back. So there's a show in a couple of months and I thought I'd better start getting this ready because it's uh, pretty beat up. It's been used for well quite a few different jobs but the main ones are these wings just want completely redoing. That one's actually not too bad. And what I haven't checked on the inside are uh, Oh yeah, there's a few bits here actually. We'll get all that sorted. It was done quite a while ago now. Uh, get all this cleaned. I think I'm gonna just spray it. Spray, clean it all up and spray the whole thing. It does still work, because well, I moved it to here. It all seems to be working. So I think for now I'm gonna get the wings off. The bonnet off. So, it makes a bit of a squeeze, one's a bit of oil. Yeah, see like, all the grills. This is when I took it to a show, and people thought, well, they were kids, thought it'd be funny to bloody climb on it. I'll probably get rid of these light brackets and I'm doing nothing. The light brackets actually were gonna go on this. And I have done a bit more. If you really want, there's a bit. I've welded all this in and on the other side. I've got the these to do. I need to get hold of some angle line and stuff to make those. And yeah, I've done the other side of that. And yeah, that's about it really, I think. Can't remember. But yeah. Right, I'm gonna get oh and I've got some some bigger wheels to go and collect for it. I've got the like 35 wheels. Because this was new tyres, so I thought well screw it just have them on because when I originally got it it did have the bigger wheels on well smaller rim bigger tire and yeah right so I'm gonna get on getting these wings off I don't think they're gonna be too much bother I did put it all back on I mean it was quite a few years ago now but with all new nuts and bolts and stuff so it shouldn't be too hard right I'm I'll get on and get these off and then let you know what they actually look like when we can see them properly right give me a minute so that's the mud guards off. So you can see, a bit of dirt. A bit of dirt. The paint is literally just peeling away. Then again, that mud guard's not been off for quite some time. And it was, I would it was a pretty cra crappy paint job when I did it. There's definitely signs of oil here. So clearly, this has a leak, the half shaft. This side, a bit leaking down there, but it's not looking as oily. And yeah, again, the paint is literally all just going down to the red oxide. The wings themselves, this is obviously the one off the far side. It's not too bad on this side, but on the inside now I've got it off. Yeah, it's literally all just peeling away on the inside. And then this one, this is the inside. This was the worst wing it was on this side. It's literally all just crap. And I think some of it was when I very first, I brought these brand new. And when I very first got them, they had this real shitty painting on. And it was a bugger to get off. But over time, it's slowly falling apart. But this side and you can see it here where it's been painted and it's all here but this time I think we're just going to go straight down to metal and start again so that's those off I'm going to get this the bonnet off and we'll see what the rest of it looks like also to get those off I literally I did have a big there, there are 24 by the way. Well, these are replace these are replacement ones. So these ones are actually a 24. But if you've got the originals, they may be Imperial. Not sure it was a long time ago since I took those off. But I found the spanner, well these spanners anyway were way too long. And I didn't need a lot so 
just use the air gun and the compressor much quicker got them off the only ones I had trouble with was that far side the bolts didn't want to come out so I literally just put the nuts on the end of the bolt and then just tapped it up with the copper rammer or mallet whatever you want to call it right, I'm gonna get on getting this bonnet off that's not too hard that's usually is it 9? 11 16 so I think in there all right give me a second so there's the bonnet off I think it was a bit of a nuisance because the bolts that go in this part they're special bolts and they should have the nut welded on the back but they've broke off you can still actually see a part of the weld there so they won't re -weld him back on there's underneath I notice when getting it off there is definitely oh we found here there's an oil leak and the ring around the actual sump plug is broke down where you can see that but yeah it's hanging down so that's one more so what is it yeah it's there so that one's replacing these tires are yeah they're literally cracking it's obviously been longer than I thought since I did this but I said I've got a new set of wheels the bonnet's off I've taken the the light stand bits off whatever you want to call them like brackets and I think I'm just gonna clean this up and just fill a bit of weld in there clean it off now these I don't know whether it's gonna work but on the Z tour it was meant to have these like cones here but I think I might weld a plate and then put those on the Z tour but I haven't looked yet well it goes that way yeah I haven't looked it might do because then that'll be reusing those so yeah that's what I may do with that so now I'm going to pressure washer all this just to get as much bloody paint off as possible and then we'll see the we're about getting the rest of it off alright I'll get on pressure washing right, give me a second again so there's it pretty much all pressure washed it's well you can see on the floor blown a hell of a lot of paint off it from underneath from the gearbox there's still a load more still to come off but I'll probably use the needle gun on the air compressor but a load of it has literally come off which is pretty good it's literally just drying now and hopefully if it stays nice over the weekend when I got a bit more free time clean all this off and may even get a coat of red oxide on it with the spray gun this time because this was done well before I even had a compressor and a spray gun that's how long I've had this thing and there's the wings and yeah right I'll catch you in the next one all right Cheers.